Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I built a build in the new world of Mount Kamarubi and it's just a family home. It's a two bedroom but three beds. I have the kids share a bedroom and what I did earlier like whenever I was introducing this was just my beginning structure. So this is what the house will actually look like now and I'm just looking at the other houses surrounding it to really get my inspiration because I had no idea what I was doing. So I just want to give you guys a little update. Um, my school has actually shut down and gone all virtual officially till the end of, till the 30th of November, but probably for the rest of the year, which is quite sad for me. It is a lot harder than I thought it would be to be doing school at home, having no teachers there right next to you helping you, but I'm making it, I think. I think we're all making it. But I just wanted to tell you guys that, in case you guys were wondering. So this is what the finished roofing and all that will look like. And so I'm starting on my landscaping. So I only put landscaping over in this little corner. I put two of these new trees. I put my favorite grass down. I use it in like every single build. And I thought, why don't I put a pond? Because it sounded like the right thing to do. And I think it turned out really pretty. I've never really built a pond, but I've seen a lot of people build ponds. So I'm like, it's not that hard, is it? And looking back on it now, I like it better than I did then. Because I thought all the rocks looked a little ridiculous and maybe you guys wouldn't like it. But I think it actually turned out quite well. So tell me down below in the comments if you like the pond or not. And if you like me to do more builds with ponds. Because it was kind of fun to build. So this is what the doors and the windows look like. This new this new pack, sorry, is absolutely stunning. I love it, highly recommend it, and I've had it for like a few days, and that's it. I got the day it came out, but I have only played with it like a few times. But it's amazing. So this is what the outside will look like, and I keep it like that with that coloring. I do basically all the outside first, then I go inside. And then I put these really pretty lights, which of course you guys have already seen in the screenshots, same as the pond, but I was so proud of it. I thought it looked really pretty and I thought it'd be the perfect place to just, you know, hang out with your sim. So I put out a mailbox and I put out a bench for your sim to sit out and eat next to the beautiful lake. And now I'll be going on inside and I cut out a lot of footage of me fiddling around because there was a lot of fiddling because my stairs would not go where I want them. And then I used the new platforms. I did use the new platforms. Very proud of myself for stepping out of my comfort zone and trying something I didn't know how to do. And then I'm just um, moving the entire house because I made it one tile wider and going through and placing furniture so I knew where I wanted to build in in case I took a break and came back the next day. Which I actually can't remember if I did. Every day is blurring together. So this is basically what the house will look like, and I did all the lights, and then I think I'm going to be going in with the doors, and then of course we'll do the wallpaper, you know, the normal, and I loved, I love like everything about this pack, it is so pretty, and I used this tiling in the bathroom, which is okay, like it isn't my favorite thing, but I just thought it kind of worked in the bathrooms, and it was from the new pack. So I thought it would be good to just use all new pack things. And I'm starting down on the first floor bathroom. And basically both of the bathrooms are the same. Like they're almost exactly the same. So I almost, like I show a little bit of the other bathroom. But it's basically just this bathroom replicated upstairs. So I cut out some footage of the bathrooms. But see, they're basically the same thing. So it's kind of boring. Adding the little finishes touches. I loved the mirror in this pack. It was amazing. I will be using that 24-7. Every single build probably. Just adding some towels, curtain, some paintings. And then we're going up into the bedroom first. In this build, I move around so crazily. I don't have like any order because I just want to see all the new things and where I want to put them. So I'm sorry about that if that kind of bothers you. But... I just placed this um, dresser and side table and plants in here. I thought that they looked really good. I just added a little rug and I will be adding some blinds to this room. As you'll see later in the screenshots, they look blue. 
they are not blue. They are a tan. I went back in the game and they are a tan. I do not know why they looked blue, but they do. I'm sorry about that. They are not blue. And see, they look, they're white. They're not, they're not blue. But I just added um, a painting in the hallway. I just have to get out my rant about my blue, my blue blinds that do not exist. And here's when the video footage gets a little choppy. I'm really sorry about that. It's, it gets better. It does. So I finished up the hallway and then we're going into the bedroom, which you could have a girl or a boy or two boys, two girls, you know, it's totally up to you. But I kind of aimed it more towards two girls because, I don't know, I kind of like that. That would be kind of cute. They might not be twins. They may be, you know, depending on what you do. Do anything with this. I had a little chair and just some more little furniture. This cute, adorable little poof, which I love amazing so I'm just finishing up the wallpaper over here because the platforms deleted my walls which was kind of weird but I'm okay I put a beautiful flooring in here I put um trim I guess around the platform which I like that they have that it looks really good and I mess with the color of this wood for so long it is ridiculous I could not decide what color wood I wanted but I finally settled on this light wood and I get a chair in the living room. So I think you could see four people in here. I think that, like, yeah, four. Four people. And then four people at this um, table. Which I was going to get the bigger one. But this, this house is kind of small. And I realized that after I started building in it. But it looked kind of big on the outside. So I kind of just kept it like this. I kind of like the coziness. So this is what the color of the um kitchen looks like and i love this stove it is just such a flat stove on top it lines up with the counters perfectly i love it i also really like this um fridge it's also gorgeous and all the woods matching just it makes my heart explode with happiness and then i'll be putting like the control and the fire alarm over there to the right and just some more paintings and stuff around just to make it more lived in and then we will be going back over to the desk to finish that up because it needs a computer and I jumped around everywhere and did not do anything in order and we'll also be getting a television after switching these two things because I could not make up my mind and there's the TV and we are coming to the end of the video guys if you guys did like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe and hit that notification bell we are going to be going into screenshots real shortly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all next time. Bye for now.